ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு இன்ஜினியரிங் மெக்கானிக்ஸ் டுடோரியல்ஸ் ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ லெக்சர் ஐ வுட் லைக் டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் அபவுட் அபவுட் ஹவு டு டிரைவ் அன் ஈக்வேஷன் ஃபார் ஃபார் த ஃபோர்ஸ் ரிக்வயர் டு மூவ் த பாடி விச் இஸ் டு பி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் இன் த டாபிக் ஆஃப் கான்செப்ட் ஆஃப் ஃப்ரிக்ஷன் ஸோ ஹியர் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த ஃபோர்ஸ் ரிக்வயர் டு மூவ் எ பாடி விச் இஸ் லைங் ஆன் எ ஹாரிஜெண்டல் பிளேன் ஸோ ஃபார் தட் வி நீட் டு அசியூம் எ பாடி விச் இஸ் லைங் ஆன் எ ஹாரிஜெண்டல் பிளேன் so here below on a plane i am taking one body so this is a body of particular weight so this is lying on a horizontal means which is stationary which is already in equilibrium condition so for uh, if you want to uh, move the body we need to apply the force so what is the minimum force is required to make the body under motion by overcoming the friction which is having in between the two surface contact okay that is only a concept concept so by overcoming the friction we need to give the motion that means minimum force required to move the body so more than that force if you apply the force automatically the motion of the body starts so for that what is the minimum force is required now we are going to derive it so assume this is having a weight which is uh, vertically acting downward which acts vertically or downward direction w and at the same time the surface can apply the reaction vertically upward direction okay which assume as r so to this body to disturb its equilibrium condition that means to give the motion i want to apply sorry for this is the convenient condition i am representing the normal reaction which is r rather than representing the below if you represent above from the center of the body yeah, it 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 would be con- convenient for uh, doing the calculation while deriving the equation okay so next we go for representing the force by which we can move the body so here i would like to take the force like this uh, i want to assume this as a p so this is the minimum force i am applying to give the motion to the body okay and when you try to pull the body in this direction so automatically the friction force will be acting opposite to the direction of the force direction of the motion of the body okay so opposite means to the left hand side the frictional force will be acting which is i am assuming as f okay and again i want to assume the p force that we are applying uh, is making an angle of alpha with the horizontal plane okay so with respect to this horizontal plane uh, it is making a, an angle of alpha means we can resolve this force p into two components horizontal and vertical direction so now try to resolve this force p into two components one is parallel to the plane and another another one is vertical perpendicular to the plane which is along the normal reaction and the weight of the body so again for our convenient i want to represent these components separately here okay separately i have represented so the horizontal component already we know that which is p cos alpha with respect to the angle alpha and similarly the vertical component is p sin alpha so these are the two components already the p is having according to the application uh, which is making an angle of alpha okay next we go for analyzing the forces so from the horizontal forces so we are having horizontal and vertical directional forces on the diagram so based upon the horizontal forces which are acting on a body we can write how can we write means one horizontal force is frictional force which is acting opposite to the motion of the body and the direction of the force you are applying so that f is equal to we can write it as the horizontal component of p okay what are the horizontal forces we are having one is f and one is p cos alpha which is the horizontal component of the p here so f is equal to we can write it as p cos alpha why it is equal to means both are in opposite direction okay when you take the sum f minus p cos alpha is equal to 0 so then we can write it as f is equal to p cos alpha so according to the equilibrium condition only and f is equal to p cos alpha we can write it as so remember this f is equal to p cos alpha from the horizontal forces we got it and next we go for from the vertical forces from the vertical forces we can write so how many vertical forces are there w is there our normal reaction is there and the vertical component of the p is there so r and vertical component of the p both are in same direction so we can t- we can take the sum of these two so that means we can write it as r plus p sin alpha okay p sin alpha is equal to w we can write it as okay so from the vertical components vertical forces which are acting on a body we can write the equation like this and again remember this equation in the form of r is equal to so write the equation in the form of r is equal to w minus p sin alpha we can write so remember this equation also r is equal to w p sin alpha both the equations i want to write it again in the next slide so f is equal to p cos alpha we got r is equal to w minus p sin alpha we got 
again in the next step we have to write we know that what is the frictional force formula frictional force formula we know that mu coefficient of friction into normal reaction r okay so this already we know according to the definition of the coefficient of friction we can write f is equal to mu r okay uh, so in the place of f we can write it as p cos alpha from the above equation and equal to in the place of r we can write w minus p sin alpha we can write it as from the above equation so now take the mu inside of the equation mu w minus mu p sin alpha now take the p terms to the one side that means take the all p terms to the left side so how can we write when you take the left side already p cos alpha is there on the left side so when you take this uh, mu p sin alpha to the left side automatically it will become positive mu sin alpha that is mu p sin alpha which is equal to already mu w is there so mu into w we can write so now take p oh sorry now again we have to write what is the mu mu again can be written as how can we write it as mu is equal to tan phi quotient of friction mu is equal to tan phi which is equal to again f by r okay so mu is equal to tan phi again we can write it as which is the standard equation for the quotient of friction so in place of mu we try to write tan phi so again p cos alpha plus uh, mu in the place of mu we need to write tan phi and as it is p sin alpha so which is equal to again we have to write mu into w as it is so next we go for next step so in the next step we try to write tan phi how can we write tan phi tan phi can be written as sin phi by cos phi so try to write sin phi by cos phi into p sin alpha so that equal to again mu w okay so now take the p as common okay take the p as common and take the lcm of uh, uh lcm of cos phi when you take the lcm of cos phi automatically cos alpha into cos phi plus will be getting sin phi into sin alpha or sin alpha into sin phi divided by cos phi so when you take the cos phi as lcm p cos cos alpha into cos phi plus sin alpha into sin phi will be getting whole bracket close and is equal to we can write it as again mu into w okay so again here uh, when you compare this cos alpha cos phi plus sin alpha sin phi it is in the form of cos a cos b plus sin a sin b so which can be written as p into which is equal to cos of alpha minus phi which is in the form of cos a cos b minus sin a sorry cos a cos b plus sin a sin b which is equal to cos a minus b so similar we can write it as cos of alpha minus phi which is again divided by cos phi okay that bracket close and equal to be generated as mu w so i want to take this equation to the next slide again as it is so the as it is equation i have written here and this uh, in place of mu again what we can write mu in place of mu we can write it as tan phi which is into w and in place of tan phi again we can write it as sin phi by cos phi into w so both sides cos phi is common in the denominator so try to cancel them and try to write the remaining equation p is equal to we can write it as w sin phi in the numerator we will get w sin phi divided by in the denominator we will be getting when you take it to right side automatically cos alpha minus phi so this is the force equation which is the minimum force is required to make the body in motion so that means whatever the value you are getting by, the, by this equation more than that value when you apply the motion of the body starts so that is only the minimum force which can make the body in motion which can make the body in motion so that is the equation and this is the process for deriving once you know the weight of the body and the coefficient of friction and the angle of inclination we can find out the what is the minimum force required to make the body in motion from equilibrium condition so that is it and i hope you understand if you don't please feel free to give a comment to my video i'll try to clarify your doubts and once again thanks for watching my video